Has anyone seen the remote for the TV? Guys, welcome back to the next installment of our DIY garage build. If you've been keeping tabs along the way, you know we just finished painting our garage walls and epoxy coating the concrete floor. We're no longer working on the perimeter space of the workshop, but it's time to start filling the garage with dude stuff. <laughs> Guys, we just picked up a new project. I'm gonna get back to the shop and show you what we have. Twenty bucks says he put something on the epoxy floor to make sure he doesn't scratch it. Guys, this behemoth is one of two workbenches we're gonna be installing on our garage. This workbench is over six feet tall and three feet wide and weighs over 350 pounds. People are gonna wonder how I picked that number. Who's gonna tell them I made it up? So it's super thick and super heavy duty. The guy I bought this thing off of, he called it his mother-in-law. What a gentleman. And if I'm being honest, he was pretty heavy duty himself. And now he has my Facebook. And I post my YouTube videos to Facebook. So I'm gonna have to edit that out. Shoot. So the previous owner was kind enough to wire wheel, degrease, and pressure wash the whole workbench before I picked it up. Meaning all we have left to do is give this metal a final cleaning before it's ready for a facelift. Alright guys, primer's dry and we're ready for our main coat. I'll tell you, the color that we picked is a little foreshadowing into something big that's coming in the second half of this video. Guys, we laid down a bunch of paint. We're gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back to check in in the morning. Wow, I'm surprised by now he hasn't asked us to like his video or subscribe to his channel. I mean, heck, if I were him by now, I probably would have asked the viewers to like his video and then subscribe to his channel, but that's just me. Morning guys, we gave our paint plenty of time to dry. It's looking great. So let's figure out how to flip this thing over and start working on the top. Guys, the bones of this workbench are looking great, but it's time to start thinking about what we're gonna do for a top. So the current contour of this top allows for any fluids to drain from whatever you're working on to the center and through this hole. That way you can collect them underneath. Now this also functions great to collect the tears that you're gonna cry once your girlfriend leaves you after she figures out that for the last two months you've been working on the garage instead of the inside of the house. I don't ever remember talking about putting furniture in our house. So for this work surface, we're gonna to slap together a one and a half inch thick solid wood top. Let's go get some supplies.
don't know if lumber for your workbench really counts as essential business, buddy. All right, guys, lumber's all loaded up, so it's time to go home and play carpenter on our new worktop. And if there are any woodworkers watching, sorry in advance. Guys, the workbench is complete. It looks really good and it's super heavy duty up top. Now this top is a $50 alternative to a $400 sheet of steel or a $300 butcher block. And if this ever gets damaged, a couple screws come out and a new sheet of $25 plywood goes in. Now that this workbench is complete, it's a great time to stop and thank today's video sponsor. Do you or someone you know suffer from feeling like you've plateaued personally or financially? Even worse, getting a pit in your stomach knowing you've made no long-term goals towards ridding yourself of your toxic lifestyle habits. You may be eligible for this breakthrough new medicine specifically designed in treating those upsetting emotions. It's called, just kidding, you have to change or else you'll feel this way for life. Guys, I'm super excited we finished our workbench, but I unfortunately cannot look past this empty corner where our toolbox is supposed to be. So I've been scouring the internet looking for the right toolbox for us and just haven't found it yet. I know exactly what we're looking for, something maybe 61 inches, a butcher block, 11 drawers, maybe even a pegboard and some wheels if we're lucky, and in a perfect world, something that matches this color. Now I know the right deal's out there and we'll find it. In the meantime, I'll continue to appreciate how sturdy this workbench is. Well, that'll do. I'd say I'm most excited that I didn't have to drag it up the driveway and pull it into the garage. Guys, good morning and welcome back. I'm just taking a second to appreciate how far this garage has come since our first video. If you recall, we didn't even have a ceiling when we first started. Now we have an insulated, well-lit ceiling. Everything's painted. We have a brand new epoxy floor and two brand new workbenches. So the only reasonable place to go from here is that wall right there. Now, many people would argue that a TV in the garage is an essential piece of equipment. You can imagine a Sunday afternoon with the garage door open, your favorite baseball team on the TV, while you pretend to change the oil in your truck to avoid your honey-do list. Could he maybe have found an older or perhaps a smaller TV? Or perhaps a weekend, you convert this space to a bar, have all your friends over to stream your favorite YouTube channel. Now, of course, that would assume you have cable or internet, which I do not, or you have a group of friends willing to hang out with you. What? If you've ever drilled into a stud before, that's not what it looks like. Now I'm gonna use these toggle bolts to hang our TV mount because I went 0 for 7 on finding a stud. Before you hang your TV, you have to fasten the two cleats to the back side. That way you can just turn the TV around and hang it on the mount. Probably not the best place to use an impact gun. I kind of like how it's not centered over the workbench and how it's a little crooked, unlevel, and way too small for the given space. Guys, that's a wrap on part four of our DIY garage build. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the content that you saw today. Now we have a whole nother side of the shop to work on, so look forward to a future video soon. And if you need us between now and then, we will be in the garage.